If you have been considering as a business owner whether or not you should be on the old clapper, I'm here to tell you right now, don't do it as I am sharing on today's session why every business owner should avoid using the Clapper app. <laughs> so if this sounds like an interesting topic, do consider sticking around. If you are new to me, welcome. My name is Janine. I am a live video strategist and the founder of my business and brand, can't even speak, by the way. <laughs> boss it live but I'm known in the digital streets as a video for bosses. Back here to bring you some regular good social media live video tea for life. Now, this is not live video specific, this topic, but I have been going back and forward about whether or not I should talk about this. Should I be coming and telling you, no, you shouldn't be there. But I'm gonna just share with you some of my experience and why I just think that perhaps right now it's a no. But before I start chomping on and <laughs> setting myself on the drink, let me make sure my microphone is plugged in properly. You can hear me and see me okay. Right now, no, but yes, you can hear me and see me okay. Share out to my, it's not great. Do you know what? I have to just tell you this. Those of you that are here, thank you so much for the love. Uh, Carla, <laughs> thank you so much. I flashed your, your comment saying, uh-oh, this must be bad because you've done some clapper videos before. Yes, I have. Some shorts though, mostly. I haven't done a long video, a sit down video talking about it. Um, I had planned to, but yes, anyway, I'm here now. But yes, before I get onto the topic of a clap, <laughs> um, I've actually got my microphone, I've got the arm and stuff, but I haven't set it up. So hopefully when I come live on Thursday, I will have that. So my sound's gonna be lovely and crisp because I do love my Rode lapel microphones, but sometimes it doesn't that doesn't land very well, <laughs> depending on where it's positioned, I don't know. But um, hopefully it'll be okay. So. Let me just ask and take a quick pulse of the room. For those of you that are here, are you, do you currently have the Clapper app or have an account on Clapper? Give me a hand up emoji if you have. Welcome, Scylla Travel. Good to see you, to see you good. So Scylla has asked the question, what is Clapper? So Clapper, you're going to love this, Priscilla. <laughs> Not. Uh, Clapper is an app. It's based in out of Texas. That's where it was created, Texas, US, obviously. And it has been going around for a good few years, but its popularity ramped up with the recent cray crayness around TikTok being banned in the US and some other places and so forth. So a lot of creators were started talking about Clapper. There's other platforms like Lemonade. I don't know if you've heard of that. So some creators on TikTok started speaking about this specific app. And the app is a short form video and live stream app. They make it very, very clear that that's the intention for the platform. So it's a place to create short form video. They have a feed that looks very similar to TikTok. And they also have live video functionality. And also you can host audio rooms as well. And unlike TikTok, for example, there's no minimum requirement, and also YouTube to an extent, there's no minimum requirement to be able to go live. So as soon as you create an account and you start building on the platform, you can go live, you can host Clapper radio rooms as they call them. You can set up your own shop, whether you have physical or digital products, and you can start making money on the platform. There's other perks and stuff that you can do, much like with the other platforms, you can actually in, you can earn through their different gifts system. So I actually jumped on, just to give you the bit of backstory and context, I jumped onto Clapper late March after I was chatting in a live stream with a creator called Creators by Cass on TikTok. She had done, does very well in understanding how to grow your platforms by understanding the algorithms for the platforms. And so when things were going a little bit wrong where TikTok was concerned, she was sharing about the Clapper app. So I said, you know what, let me check that out. Now, you guys know that I am a live video strategist. And as the platform has a focus and emphasis around going live, of course, I wanted to check it out so that I could report back to my clients and those who are part of my Video Boss Academy membership about whether or not 
this emerging platform is a viable space to consider for marketing your business because ultimately that's what it's about if we're business owners <laughs> utilizing these platforms marketing our products and services whether running ads or doing it organically we want to know that where we're at is going to bring some traction our way so i jumped onto the platform and i've done some short form videos about my early results and what i found with the actual platform and quickly I was able to grow and scale. So I'm going to actually be doing another video later on this week. So the next video, I am going to be sharing some of the pros of the Clapper app. <laughs> Even though you're like, the whole time you're saying it's owner should avoid it. Well, yes, I am giving you this context because I'm not on there <laughs> right now. I, I am repurposing content on Clapper. But I have decided for me, after giving it 90 plus days, that the platform was not for me personally, based on my own experiences. And I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I don't think work well, which is why if you are a serious business owner, you know, content creator and business owner, you're using your content to market your products and services, why you probably should avoid the platform. But again, I say with everything that, you know, there's no one way fits all. There are lots of experts that are out here that are saying, this is what you should do, this is what you shouldn't do and have like an approach and, and put that out there to the world. And then you might say, well, actually, I'll try a different approach and something else works for me against what you actually said. So do you get what I'm saying? It's different for everybody. You've got to figure, you know, carve your own path, but weigh things up. But essentially, I wanted to share with you that after 90 days, I also I made made the decision that the platform was not for me. Will I revisit it at a later stage? Possibly, but I will. And will I be sharing with you some of the good points about it? Absolutely, because I was able to monetize on the platform very, very quickly. But today I want to talk to you about why you should avoid it. So if you haven't yet given this video a thumbs up, this is really the content, a topic that you may be interested in. Please do give this a thumbs up. Please feel free to share it and do let me know if you have any questions. Now, you guys know if you've been around any period of time, I'd like to give you a visual avoid using clapper <laughs> oh, the fear of using clapper so i'm just going to share with you a few reasons why if you're a business owner that you shouldn't be on clapper and we'll start with number one so the for you fyu fyu for you page is filled filled to the rafters with what i believe is inappropriate content and when I first got onto Clapper, I had to do a video very, very quickly because I was just like, what is this? And I thought, okay, maybe it's like with it, it reminds you, Clapper reminds me of TikTok circa when it started. You know, it was the wild, wild west of social media. And at the beginning, these platforms are a little bit wild. <laughs> and trust me, Clapper, I had to say, do you know what? I did a video saying, if you are sick of looking at boobs and butt cheeks, this is what you need to do. I had to find a way to try and limit seeing this content because you'd scroll and you'd just see booty after booty after boobies after boobies. And it'd be like, oh no, this is, this is too much. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not a bougie Christian. No, I am a bit. <laughs> I'm not so, I call myself the relatable Christian. Like I get it right in life. But seriously, I was like, this is a bit too hot for me. But it's really, really difficult. And there was, there is a way that you can filter out, but I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But your FYP is just absolutely wild. It's a little bit crude and it takes a while for you to slow down the pace of seeing that content. But primarily it kind of does pop up again. And the reason why the content circulates again is because the platform doesn't have the, the, the viewership or user base that other platforms like TikTok, like Instagram have. So as it has a smaller, smaller audience, absolutely 100%, you're going to see repeat of the same sort of content. And also, I think as well, because they market themselves as a social media platform for people who are 17 years and above, the content is a lot more spicy, let's just call it that. But there's a lot of controversial topics that are constantly being uh, fed through the platform. And I think because of how it, it grew and how it started, that's culturally what the platform is. So when a number of content creators, uh, digital creators, business owners started to head over to Clapper, there was pushback with it. And I'll share a little bit about that, even though that's not on my specific agenda. Hello, Wendy, thank you very much for popping in. 
Priscilla says, it sounds like too many negative restrictions. Dist uh, I wouldn't find my clients there anyway. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, which leads on to some other points that I have. So yes, absolutely. This is what I'm saying as a business owner, if you're intentional with your, your, your marketing on social media, it's something that you need to, to consider. So the second thing is, is that you cannot easily curate your news feed. So this goes into what I was saying. The first point is that on your FYP, it's, it's very racy. So on with Clapper, you have a few options. You can say that, you know, do not show me this creator. You can say you're not interested. And then there's another third option, which is totally irrelevant. So a lot of people were saying, you know, not interested in this content. Yes, you absolutely have to hit not interested. And some people are saying, don't show me this from the creator. But that the thing is with, with Clapper um, is that you might not see that creator, but it doesn't mean that you won't see that specific type of content. So it's really important to say that the type of content that you are seeing, that you're not hitting the not interested. And there's some things that you can do in the back end as well in your settings to make sure that you're, you're minimizing seeing that kind of impactful content. Having said that, this is the problem with the platform, like I said earlier on, because there's not that much content on there. It, you, it, you still see that content. So for a while, you would do the not interested and it would start to dial down. And especially once creators were coming over from TikTok and you were seeing more content from creators that were in the digital space that was all about social media marketing, it was kind of balancing out for a little while. But you're already seeing a lot of those people have already abandoned the platform, myself included. I'll just give an example. Most of you, if you're on TikTok, you may know Wave Wild, who started the, uh, she's known as the queen of the trend alert uh, movement on TikTok. She jumped onto the platform around about the same time as me. She's, you know, got a really, really influential, big community on TikTok, went over onto Clapper and was like, this is not for me. <laughs> I've actually had some conversations with her. But, you know, paraphrasing, it's just like, no, this is not the space that I want to be in. Because at the end of the day, as business owners who are strategic in what we're doing, we are looking at the ROI. And if we, you know, we, we're, we're at a stage now, the most of us who've been on these platforms for a while, if you're running paid ads like Priscilla does, so the travel, or if you're doing it organically, you just, you know, right? You know what is for what isn't. So it's like, do I actually put up with this? You know, one thing I will say about Clapper, and I will talk, as I said, about some of the things that they're doing and why it might be something to explore, right? Because for some people it could work, right? For some people it could. So I'll share some of the good points. They are working on things and looking to innovate. But I think in terms of the way social media is moving and the way meta is moving right now and how things are very fast, they're still quite, quite slow to make those things happen. And then when they have the, the opportunities for creators to ask questions about things, they host rooms, they do a lot of stuff to talk to the, the community and get feedback. But some of the things that are suggested or asked if this is coming, which are things that are on other platforms, uh, not to compare, but you still wanna see similar things that work. There is a, oh, well, no, we're not, we're not planning to do that right now. So it's like, oh, well, you know, that's a bit much. <laughs> so anyway, moving on to the next point. Hashtags do not work for discoverability. So if you want to be discovered specifically around your area of expertise, or you want to try and find certain things, hashtags, forget it. Now, we are encouraged on Clapper to utilize the hashtags, absolutely 100%, because it's like, you know, once things get moving, then, you know, categorizing of your content, but they're not working. Because I've done searches around the hashtags that I use, live video, video live video strategy, uh, live video tips, video marketing, video creator, uh, video coach, live video coach, it don't work. It brings up random stuff. So, you know, hashtags, even though we're encouraged to use it, they're not they're not helpful for discoverability. Now, on Clapper, you do get a lot of visibility. You can have lots of views. I think my my two, I don't know if you call them viral videos, but two videos that I have on Clapper have in excess of 100 plus thousand views. And yeah, great. The views are there. And yes, I have 13 plus thousand followers. But because it's just it's exposing you to everything, much like obviously on TikTok, the FYP, but there's still no curation. There's still no, you know, being able to attract the right people <laughs> to your content.
in any way, shape or form. And ultimately, if you're a business owner, you're being very intentional with your content. Like for me, I'm speaking on one narrative, <laughs> right? Over there, live video tips, live video strategy, video showing up with camera confidence, it's the same thing. And it's not necessarily attracting the people that I'm interested in. And yes, I'm able to, you know, those that comment that are really interested and those that show up regularly, but it's still very, very difficult. So it's like, okay, it's just random at the moment, but I want to dial that down. I really want to niche it down. I really want to look for my community or find people that are similar to me that may have a similar or none of that. And that's just like, well, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> I need to get that on that sound on the slide deck. All right. So the next thing is, Creating good quality content on the platform is impossible. Some people might say that's a little bit of an unfair statement to make, but I believe that's true. This channel is called Video for Bosses. I'm all about creating high quality, our oh, quality videos, live streams, pre-recorded videos, etc. And I'm one of these people that will help you and teach you how to create it without the overwhelm of lots of tech and, and, and the expense of having DSLR and all of that stuff. Yes, all of that comes when you actually are in that position to and if you want to, but you don't have to. You can create really epic, great content with just your mobile. However, if the platforms provide you the in-app software to be able to do it. No. Oh, my gosh. Anybody watching this live or on the replay, please let me know if you are on Clapper, if you're creating content specifically on Clapper, because Clapper are very big on pushing original content. But they don't mind because they know that their they're, they're in-app editing and recording is not very good. So they're quite happy to bring have content brought over from other platforms as long as the watermarks are not on it. So you can create your content. For example, I love to, I have a create first strategy inside of TikTok. So I record a lot of my content in TikTok and then I repurpose, I, you know, download, remove watermarks and repurpose that content. Because for me, I get the best quality doing that. And then I'll use tools like the captions app and I'll put lovely little captions, branded captions onto it and just, you know, bring it up a notch that way. So essentially, you know, that's what I do. And then you can repurpose it and then you have good quality content on the platform. But if you go into Clapper and you go to camera and you want to record content, <sighs> editing, it's not very good at all. So Carla says she's not on Clapper. And you said, Clapper, I only knew about Clapper because you were doing these videos. Yeah, because, you know, I was reporting and documenting what my growth was, etc. And seeing it, you know, that there, like I said, come back on Thursday. I will be sharing some other things because it might give you another perspective. I, I kind of, am, you know, I'm not doing the sandwich effects very well, am I? <laughs> you know, they say the sandwich effect where you share the good things first. And then you talk about the bad stuff. Well, I was sharing the good stuff in my shorts. I've now come and shared with you my quantifiable results after 90 days, <laughs> which is like, it sounds a bit negative. But no, I have to be honest with you because you guys know what I'm like. So <laughs> Priscilla said, nope, I'm ready to quit Twitter too. Too many people insulting each other. What are you going to do? You're going to move over to, uh, <laughs> to threads. Let me know if you're going to go over to threads because that might be the next space. Anyway, for those of you that joined me today, thank you so much. Uh, we are talking on the topic today around Clapper, why every business owner should avoid using Clapper. I've been really dramatic with the visuals, but I really wanted to get to get to the point. I hope you're finding this useful today. Let's carry on. So like I said, oh, we've done that one. Creating good content is impossible. So like I said, you know, editing, recording. And then they also have a feature. They also have a feature called clapback. I'll tell you about that. I'm going to probably tell you that about that on my stories, because I experienced a little bit of bullying on Clapper, but we're not talking about that today. My short, thank goodness, my shoulders are broad <laughs> and I could take the troll in, but I'll talk to you about that another time. But yes, going back to their, their feature clapback, it's almost like Du is it duets on TikTok where you can take a snippet of somebody's video and then respond to it? But with clapbacks on Clapper, you have to have the whole video. So if somebody's talking for 10 minutes, you have to have the whole 10 minutes and then you clap. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, let's move on. The next thing is, is that you cannot control who follows your account. This is a big pooey bit for me. I didn't like this at all. 
because the truth of the matter is, is that the quality of the followers, you, you cannot see the quality of the, 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 the followers because there's no insights. I'll get to that in a moment. But you'll see people that follow you and you'll look and you'll see the handle and you'll see because there's a lot of I'm just going to call a spade a spade. There's a lot of people that follow you on there, a lot of men. And I'm not marketing to these people. When I go on their profiles, I'm like, oh, Lord, help me. Jesus, take the wheel. Literally, that's how I feel. I mean, she's just like, no, 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 no. But the only, you know, like on other platforms, you can remove somebody's following. So like for me, I, I often regularly audit, for example, my Instagram following. I'll have a look and I'll see, you know, the people that followed me. Are you falling under my idol client? Sometimes it's very obvious that the person isn't. That's an immediate removal. Or you go onto the person's profile, have it, and then you remove them. You can't do that on Clapper. You can't do that. So anyone who follows you is following you unless you block them. And so you can't justify blocking someone just because they followed you and you don't want them to follow you. That's that's not really, you know, that's not the right thing to do. But I'm just like, this is ridiculous. I can't control who follows me. I can have anybody. You just don't know what people are like. So I'm just like, mm, I don't like that. I want to be able to have more control over the community that I'm actually building. Because if it's a lot of random people, I'm just going to be talking to people who are just coming to, oh, I like the look of this lady. Let me, that's not what I'm there for. Does that make sense? It's just a little bit silly. Paula says, not Paula, sorry, Carla says, oh, wow, the lurkers and competitors would be able to sit there and, yeah, it's just, who, who's got time for that? I don't. So, yeah, that's not something that I'm overly keen on, the, the whole um, thing. So the next thing is there are currently no insights or in-app editing. So I essentially spoke, I jumped the gun. <laughs> Great, good video, I jumped the gun there. But, yeah, there's no in-app editing oh well there is but it's very basic i.e you add in the clips but you can't cut them or anything like you can't do any of that stuff and even like trying to layer like you can't time things to come up it's just it's just not very very good at all the fact that you have no insight so where is this traffic coming from who are these people no insights none now, we know, especially let's just talk about, let's just talk brass tacks, YouTube brass tacks for a moment. <laughs> Those of us who are on YouTube, you have to understand your audience. We, we, we are always delving into our analytics to understand growth and all of these different things. So <laughs> I'm just like, how do we not have insights? And how do we not have insights? How many years? It sounds like I'm bashing the app, doesn't it? Gosh, let me fix my wig. Let me fix my wig as well. As I'm bashing that, I'll be fixed. But yeah, well, Clapper comes for it. Yeah, no, it sounds like I'm just, just poo-pooing it completely. Then, listen, come back on Thursday. We'll just share some things that might give you some insight. But yeah, just to go back to the point, no insights, no in-app editing. Mm, thumbs down for me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to quickly bring up the question of the day for you. Uh, are you on Clapper? And what have you, and if you are, what have been your results so far? And I think most of you that are here under the sound of my voice are not on Clapper. So I'm going to ask those of you, if you are on Clapper, what results have you had? And if you're not on Clapper, based on what I've shared today, what stands out to you the most that is just like a no-no? Do let me know in the comments and I will come to the rest of your comments. <laughs> and I just seen what you said, Priscilla. Sounds creepy. So the next point is this. You cannot easily monetize from your content. Now, when I talk to you on Thursday, you're going to be like, Janine, that's a little bit of a contradiction uh, based on what you said, because I have monetized on the platform. And like I said, it is easy for you to set up, you know, your shop and, and just put all of your, you know, your taxing documentation in there so that they can actually pay you and, and all of that stuff. So it's really quite easy set up. But when I say that it's not easy to monetize, based on some of the things that I've shared with you, it's like, it could be like selling ice to Eskimos. So for me on Clapper, what I did, how I was able to sell some of my digital products is that I set up my shop really, really early and I started live streaming and immediately, I did not waste any time. Welcome to everyone that's coming in. I immediately started to promote my, my product in my live stream. So I would pin my products. It had a little image on there and I, I started to pitch and, and sell it because like I said, with Clapper, you know, when you first go live, I don't know if any of you actually know, I said this on TikTok, I didn't say this here. When you first, first start going live on Clapper, there, there's an option for you to notify your audience. And it genuinely does notify your audience. Hello, Miss Kashini. Good to see you. Two for two, Kashini. It's good to see you. 
I know you're not a clapper. Don't worry about it, Wendy. You're not missing anything. And yes, creepy the house. So yes, the monetization, I started, you know, selling, selling, selling inside the app, right? And sold some products. But there's a, there's a, a threshold for when you can cash out. So the money that I've made on Clapper, I can't cash any of it out. <laughs> the products that I've sold that people will have, and bless their hearts, they paid for it, so it's nothing to do with them, but they've got those products that I have not got any money for because <laughs> I've not reached the, the threshold or the requirement for me to get the payout. So I can see the total of what I've made because I haven't hit that threshold, I can't get that out. So Clapper have taken their cut, they've got their money. Those who purchase from me, I mean, the good thing is that they're on my list and I can nurture and still sell to them at a later stage. The fact that they've purchased means that they're a warm lead. But I want my money that I've, that I've, <laughs> I've actually made on the platform. And I even had somebody tell me in one of my radio rooms on Clapper that they said to me, and thank you to those of you that are here, we're, we're going to be wrapping up soon. One of his, he said, is that people on this platform are not ready for what you're trying to do. I'm like, well, what, what the, why am I here then? <laughs> if you're not ready. And I can't, if I make money and I sell and I can't cash out, what's the point? And yes, you can, you know, you have your links in your bio, you have your website, et cetera. So, you know, your landing page where you have your products and services, you have your socials, all, all of that is nice and easy to connect. But if you sell directly in the app, you set up a shop, just know, like me, <laughs> I ain't been able to get my money. So anyway, do we have any questions around today's topic? Let me just have a look if there's any final comments. Wendy's got the shock face. <laughs> you made us a lot. Don't worry. It's late for you, Kashini. I saw you early on today on Instagram. I'm always very happy to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. This is my lovely moderator for this channel. Kashini, it's Kashini. And she creates amazing content and lives in the beautiful island of Mauritius. And I'm looking forward to when she's going to be coming back. Priscilla said, what the what? <laughs> no money for you? Why bother eyeballs? Yeah, I'm giving, uh, you're giving me the same eyeballs I gave you on the DMs, <laughs> Priscilla. So do you all see now, my beautiful friends, why we have this graphic? And I'm telling you, see this graphic here that I've created? You see in the middle, I know it's a bit faded out. It says it goes down, five-star news update road rage. That's all the kind of content that you see on there. <laughs> If I was to show you some of the clips that is on that platform, you'd be like, nah. don't get me wrong. There are some, some, some creators that are creating some really, really good content. But most of it is just human beings just being vile, the videos that are uploaded, or the people that are creating content. <laughs> A little bit questionable. I am I, in my opinion. I am I, in my opinion. Uh, no problem, no problem. So just recapping the question of the day for those of you. Are you on Clapper and what have you have been your results so far? And if you're not on the old Clap Clap, <laughs> what put you off? What sealed the deal for you on today's live stream as to why you do not want to do it? Well, this has been fun. I really enjoyed chatting it up with you. And thank you to those of you that took the time to come back and be live with me. I came live last week. It was just myself. <laughs> but it's nice to see a lovely number of you here, six of you today. That has been so good. And thank you so much. I want to say a, a bit of a shout out, a bit of a shout out, shout out to let me just see if I can bring up your comment. I want to say a lovely shout out. I'm just going to bring up your comment to, to Carla Jenkins here who's not on Clapper, but Carla kindly gave me some feedback on one of my posts in the community tab where I was saying, oh, I don't know if I should start a new channel. And I really appreciate that Carla, even if Carla's not here live, and I've known Carla for a while in the digital space, Carla, I don't even think I'm subscribed to your channel. I'm going to go and check it out and subscribe. But Carla, even when I've not been on Twitter, when I look back on, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed because I haven't said thank you because <laughs> Carla has literally shared all of my videos. So I really, really do appreciate that. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate, and I appreciate every single one of you. So here's the tea, my beautiful friends. I am going to be back for part two of this clap, this clap series, part two, and then I'm done. <laughs> but I do want to come back on Thursday. I will be here at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK time. I know some of you are like, no, I don't need to hear anymore. <laughs> you put me off. No, I don't want to. But no, do 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 come back. 
and I will be back regularly on this channel. I will be here. You'll see video content whether it's live or pre-recorded every Monday and Thursday. And the time will be the same, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. UK time. And um, so definitely come and join me on Thursday or look out for the notification for what's going to be coming up. And I am going to be sharing shorts as well. But do drop your thoughts at the end of the video. Uh, there will be a video that that's uh, not video. There will be in the comments. Yeah, there'll be something in the comments. But I want to say to you, if you missed out on joining me for the live stream on Thursday, the last time I was here, be sure to check out the video that's going to pop up now. Those of you that live can't see it. <laughs> the video, my most recent upload. And I will see you back here by God's grace on Thursday. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.